June 19th, 1973, Globe, Arizona. Let's see Good evening, Oscar. Where is Ray? So Ray stunned with God. Yes, we see thy need. And we shall tell you the parable of the seven spirits of God. And God had sent him forth to plant their fields. Or he should make them ready to create your earth. And in the beginning, each helped the other in the toil of the planting of the fields. But as the time of harvest grew near, they began to argue. They began to argue. and to separate, and they continue to argue, and the field ripened in the field, yet they argued even more. And the grain they had planted rotted in the field. And then the Lord called him back before him. And each stood to blame the other that they had not brought back unto their Lord their harvest. And the Lord sent them forth again to plant the field. Again, they argued, and the fields did not become planted. And this time they were afraid to go back unto their Lord. But the Lord God appeared before them, and said unto them, I shall plant your fields over and over again until you come back unto me with the lesson you have learned from the planting of the fields. Time passed, days passed, years passed, thousands of years passed. And then one day the seven walked before their Lord. And with them they bore the grain they had harvested from the many fields. And the Lord looked unto them and said, What have you learned? And they spoke forth together and said into these words, O oh Lord, we have learned this lesson, that to plant a field and to harvest a field, each of us must depend upon the other. None of us can be greater than the other. that each of us must use the other's talent. And so the Lord sent him forth to create the earth.
and each depended upon the other, or one who laid upon the earth the ferment of many kinds, and the other who brought forth the animal life of many kinds, and the other who created the ocean and water and streams, and the other who planted life within the streams. And the other who brought forth man, and the other who brought forth woman, and the last who breathed life into all, and did place upon ferment on your earth. And they went before their God, and God looked upon the earth and said unto them, It is good, for it is of our kind, of our likeness. Now we say unto you these words, You have sought to claim many things upon your shortcomings. When the fault has laid within yourselves, you have cast blame one upon the other. And we have watched, and God has watched. And we say unto you once again, we are not here to make you great in the eyes of men. We are not here to make ourselves great in the eyes of men. We are here but for one purpose, and that is the preparation for the coming of the Messiah. For this in itself to happen, there must be unity within your groups. We have laid before you a prophet, that he may use his knowledge to guide unto you. Yet he is overtaxing his body. This in itself would not cause a problem. Because of the overtaxing of the body, which he would soon tire and stop. But we have spared him But for this one purpose, if you cannot again find unity and purpose within yourselves, as the Lord has given, the Lord shall take it away. He is of many times, yet we should send him forward once again. But you within yourselves shall continue planting the field until you come before your Lord in such a manner that you know how to depend on one another. This in itself must be your philosophy. The one 
medicine that he must have. His tranquility in his daily delight. He sees many things. Yet he is but like yourselves, yet of human form. blood and bone, of body, of soul, of spirit, and of mortal body. We say unto you that this way must be prepared.